what's up everybody i'm emory hunt the czar of the playbook coming to you from my home office as i prepare for my broadcast this weekend i will be the color analyst on the radio broadcast for the monmouth princeton game at 4 30 p.m eastern time down in Princeton, New Jersey, on the campus of Princeton University. Now, you can listen to this broadcast live on shoresportsnetwork.com, 1160 a.m. or 1310 a.m. as well on your radio dial. The reason why I wanted to bring you a little bit behind the curtain is because I'm prepping for this broadcast, but a lot of prospects start to pop up on my videos as I'm watching film of these, these guys in, prep, in preparation for this game. Now, there are a couple of prospects that are on the Senior Bowl watch list, the 2019 Reese's Senior Bowl that will take place down in Mobile, Alabama in late January. And I wanted to share with you guys those prospects as well as some of the other prospects in this ball game that you want to keep an eye on. First, we're going to start with Reggie White Jr. out of Monmouth. He's a silky smooth 6'3", 210 pounder who's the go-to guy in the Hawks offense. White caught my attention two years ago in a game against Fordham where he took a quick hitch about 70 yards down the field for a touchdown. What makes him such a very good pro prospect and a big reason why he's on the Senior Bowl watch list is due to the fact that he's a very fluid player for a taller receiver, showing the ability to smoothly get in and out of his breaks with ease, which yields itself to him being able to play inside if need be. The obvious outside skills are clearly there as he's almost automatic inside the red zone, showing strong hands at the catch point to consistently win those 50-50 balls. I'm excited to see him get out there and compete against his Princeton secondary. Next on the Senior Bowl watch list is Princeton's receiver, Jesper Horstead. He's 6'4", 215 pounds, and is a two-sport athlete for the Tigers playing on their baseball squad, which also makes him a highly touted baseball prospect as well. Now, Horstead is coming off of a season where he finished with 92 receptions, 1,200 yards, and 14 touchdowns. In his first game last week against Butler, he hauled in seven receptions for 140 yards and two scores. He's more along the lines of an outside guy that shows good body control to make tough catches, and and just like Reggie White Jr., he's excellent at the catch point. He was Princeton's number one option last season and looks to be the same again this year. Now, he and Monmouth starting cornerback Junior Tymere Berry should have some excellent battles throughout this game. But Horstead looks like this year's version of Justin Watson coming out of the Ivy League. Looking at some of the other prospects in this game and Princeton's receiver Steven Carlson is equally as impressive as his teammate Horstead. He hauled in 11 touchdowns last year and nearly 1,000 yards. He's still got some upside left to his game from a strength perspective, so I'll be keeping a watchful eye on him in that regard to see how he has progressed over last season. And the Tigers do everything quarterback John Lovett is the FCS Tim Tebow in my opinion. He can do it all. In 2016, when he split time with current Arizona Cardinals quarterback Chad Kanoff, the 6'3 225 pound QB ran for 20 touchdowns while throwing another 10 to only one interception in route to winning the Bushnell Cup which is given to the top offensive and defensive player in the Ivy League. He missed all of last season with an injury so I'm excited to see how he has progressed this year as a passer but he also is such a good athlete that he could have a home as an H-back or a fullback at the next level. Mammoth's tight end Jake Powell and offensive lineman Ryan Wetzel are two other Hawks to watch for in his ball game. Powell has good versatility for the tight end position and is also an above average blocker while Wetzel shows the ability to play multiple spots up front having played all five while at Mammoth. 